So last week, this happened. I decided it's about time that I step up my jiu-jitsu training. I really want to start moving forward and progressing a little bit more on the mat because right now, two to sometimes four, average about three sessions a week isn't really cutting it. I'm kind of just stable, progressing a little bit, not nearly as where I want to get to. So last week on Thursday, I decided I'm going to go in for my fourth jiu-jitsu session that week. And then on Friday, I'll do my fifth and I was up to it. I was going to even go Friday night to make it sixth. And maybe even Saturday if I had a bit of time. But what happened on Thursday is I was rolling. A guy was in a turtle position and I was trying to sprawl. He had my leg in a weirdish position. And the funny thing is, as he had my leg, I was thinking in the moment, this is a pretty bad position for my knee. I could actually really hurt my knee here. And then all of a sudden, pop. I heard my knee pop. And not only did I hear my knee pop, my training partner heard my knee pop, my coach on the other side of the mat and his wife heard my knee pop. It went pop. Now the thing is that straight away when you do get an injury, you don't really know what's up. You're kind of like, I heard something, it didn't feel good, but I feel okay. So I was like, nah, I'll keep rolling. I got about 30, 40 seconds left of the round and I was winning. So I wanted to keep rolling. Keep rolling and then I realized I don't really have much strength left in this leg at the moment. And then the buzzer went, I was like, I'm going to sit out for this one because I'm going to be smart and not to continue rolling when I think I did something bad to my knee. I used to do the normal things, everything felt pretty fine. It was about three hours later, a couple hours before I had to head to work, that the inflammation started and my knee was killing me. On the way home from training, I bought myself a knee brace because I knew that I'm probably going to need a knee brace because there might be a little bit of recovery, but I was in pain. As I was just about to walk out the door to go to my client's house, I had to run back or kind of hop hobble back to the bathroom because it ended up throwing up because I was in so much pain from my knee and I had no idea what was going on. So I'm a coach and I went to my client's house and he's had um, ACL tears and uh, MCLs like MCL reconstructions all the fun stuff and he was explaining how do you know if you had if you tore your ACL and things like that and he the, everything kind of sounded like what I did so I was getting actually super freaked out that I may have torn my ACL and it could have been a lot worse than I thought it was but he did a couple little remover tests on me and the kneecap and stuff wasn't too loose so it was okay I was just in a lot of pain so I went to work um, after my client's house to my to the gym where I work and it's also because we have physios that actually work inside the gym and the physio there took a look at my knee and it just turned out I told my LCL which is the ligand on the outside of my knee it was not my ACL thank god but it does mean time off training um, so the next 48 hours was absolutely agonizing. Sleeping that night was not fun. Everything hurt. Now I have my mattress in my bedroom on the floor because I like to sleep on the floor. I still have a mattress. I just don't like bed frames and things like that. I find them annoying and noisy. So I like to have my mattress on the floor, which is a really awesome, cool, funky idea. Until you hurt one of your knees and you need to single leg squat at five in the morning in order to get out of bed. It's not really the best idea. So I'm going to have to rethink that one or work on my single leg strength. So I actually got to one point in the first 24 hours where I was having a shower the next morning. I'm getting ready for work and I actually considered yelling out to my roommate to help me out of the shower because I have like a bathtub and the shower's in the bathtub and to get out of the shower was so goddamn painful I almost went in tears because in the morning you're sensitive and um, getting out of that much height was not a fun experience. But recovery has actually been awesome. I've been making sure that I kept my weight off it. I wore my brace. I rested, spent pretty much the whole weekend with an ice pack on my knee. Took a couple anti-inflammatories, not that I'm really all for them, but I was just trying to speed up the recovery. And tomorrow, uh, today's officially one week since I injured my knee. And tomorrow I'm thinking I might be good to go back and roll if I strap everything really tight and, and kind of limit the range of movement so I can't put my knee in a bad position. There's a couple of positions that do hurt it and there is still a little bit of tenderness. This is my first actual knee injury. I've got a lot of other injuries, hence why I'm triggering my shoulder right now because it really hurts. It's going to take. So I've had a lot of other injuries but a knee one is something that I really don't want to have to, have to deal with. So, but I'm getting really anxious 
to want to roll and to want to train especially since I was just starting to push my training and I was just starting to see a couple of cool things but I messaged one of my um, kind of like old coach friends ish who's a black belt who works at another club and I messaged him and he focuses a lot on ankle locks and knee bars and a lot of no gi stuff and as soon as my knee is 100%, so I'm going to give it a couple weeks, I'm going to start going to him because I really want to get good at knee bars and ankle locks. It's my new goal for my jiu-jitsu um, over the next couple of years. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So that is why I've not posted in over seven days and I've done no jiu-jitsu photos. I think to jiu-jitsu because I have been sitting there with an ice pack on my knee and dealing with a lovely knee injury. As you guys will know, if y'all are all into jiu-jitsu, you kind of you kind of feel me you get what I'm kind of going through so thank you for checking out my video I'm actually doing something a little bit different to this hairdo that I got going on right now because I'm finding that the blonde is starting to damage my hair a little bit and it's starting to um, get kind of thick and dry and yucky and you can probably see because of my roots I'm not actually a natural blonde so this weekend I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to give a little bit of a video to show you guys what I've done and hopefully, fingers crossed, it actually looks semi good. So thank you guys so much for checking out my video. Uh, if you haven't already, big red subscribe button right there as I fix up my hair. And in the meantime, keep being strong, happy and healthy. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below.